So Nick, thanks for joining us. Uh, I know you're a busy guy. Thank you, Ruben. I'm not as busy as you are, so <laughs> it's an honor to be here and to share some ideas uh, and some experiences. I'm actually brought you a small token of appreciation, just to, mm. um, wow. think something I'm sure you will appreciate um, to thank you for, oh, for lovely. having me. Lovely. I love gifts. Yeah, you I can guess. It. Can I open it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you must open it. There's oh, a, wow. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy wine. I do. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank it's you very much. It's a great pleasure. Tell us how your company came about and um, you know, just how it started. Our company started a year and a half ago. So we, start, we launched 28th of January 2015. So what we're going to do, or what we're busy doing, is to partner up with importers and retailers all over the world that stock South African wine. And basically what is going to happen is we have Bartini in South Africa distributed by Bartini, so in, on our network. In Germany, we have Bartini um, distributed by the German importer. And if you go on port to port and want a Bartini bottle, no matter if you are in Europe or if you are in South Africa, you will receive it next day delivered automatically by the closest warehouse to you. So that's the experience we'd wow. like to create. Now, Nick. Being an Italian, I mean, have you developed uh, a love for uh, Boboti, South, South African food? I love Boboti. My girlfriend does a fantastic <laughs> Boboti. Yes, I actually, I really adore Boboti and I love Malva pudding. And um, <laughs> no, but I enjoy again. I mean, the, living in Cape Town is a privilege. Um, we've just travelled in the States. We were in, uh, and we were high, had high, very high expectations. We were in San Francisco, Napa, but then we came back and we said, "My God, this is the, this is the centre of the world." I mean, the amount of restaurants and uh, beautiful wineries and landscapes and everything is here. Really amazing. And we've got amazing produce. and Amazing, amazing produce. Do you cook at home at all? Do you yes, enjoy every that? day. Every day. Um, we cook, uh, yeah, both Tammy and I cook at home. We host a lot. We, we have our, we designed our house, which we recently moved in, around the kitchen. So we've built our um, dining table in the kitchen, uh, which is what's our working kitchen. So it's, it's often we have half of the table we have we have t plates on it and people are sitting and the other half we're preparing and that's i mean it's, it sounds very italian but i'm that's that's a big stereotype guess, yeah make my own pasta and things like that <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like an advert yeah <laughs> that's me now nick i mean you, you you're still a young guy and you've been fairly successful in your business uh, i'm sure that I mean, there's still many ideas and uh, whether it's growing your your companies as they are or seeing other opportunities out there um, to the entrepreneurs out there that can learn something that you've done so far and going forward, what would be your recipe for success that's worked for you? Sharing is everything. Sharing feeds creativity. Collaboration feeds creativity. And who doesn't want to share, then they, they can just go somewhere else. It's fine. By sharing, you can perfect what you're planning to do. And it's a, it's a great opportunity. You have access to people that have more experience than you, your father, your mother, everyone. Um, and then uh, get your, definitely be serious about the funding because any idea needs obviously to be backed up and your funding shouldn't be just, okay, I need to buy a computer and that's how I start and then everything else will just happen. Uh, it needs to be part of your planning, so that needs to be secure. You need to build a business which is light, which doesn't necessarily rely on the big costs initially. And then lastly, believe in it. I mean, again, it's, it's a, it sounds a very cliche, but uh, there will be times that, that you stop believing in it. And uh, I, I, there's one golden rule, hard work pays off. Again, another cliche, so true. Put as much, but really be honest with yourself, put as much work as you can in it and it will happen. It will happen one way or another if you're open-minded and if you, um, if you have passion in what you do. Um, I'm not a person of necessarily, I'm a person of numbers. But I'm a passionate person and I think it pays off and uh, it, it, since one kind is here, it did. So it will go on doing it. Nick, listen, thanks for my lovely it's gift. Pleasure. I can't enjoy. wait to enjoy that. And thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Well, thanks for yours. Thank Cheer -cheer. you very much. Cheers.